everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about all things adulting. In this video, I'm going to share about Crypto.com which is a Singapore-based cryptocurrency exchange with 10 million users across 90 countries. Before we dive into the serious stuff, here's a fun fact on Crypto.com. Did you know that the Staples Center, home to the Los Angeles Lakers, was recently renamed to Crypto.com Arena not long ago? And sources claim that they may have paid more than 700 million USD dollars for naming rights. Meaning, people would now say, let's watch the Lakers game at Crypto.com Arena. I can't imagine the brand awareness that they will develop as a result of this. Now, back to the serious stuff. Let us first address the burning question. How safe is it actually to invest using Crypto.com? Based on their website, they claim that they are safe because 100% of their users' cryptocurrencies are held offline in cold storage. That means it's offline, often air gap and hard to physically access. This makes hacking much more difficult. Number two, Crypto.com claims to be safe as they have strategic partnership with Ledger, which is a company that develops security solutions for cryptocurrency as well as blockchain applications for individuals and companies to integrate its institutional grade custody solution, Ledger Vault. And this shows their commitment towards security and data privacy. Number three, Crypto.com claims to be secure as they have secured a total of $750 million in cold storage insurance against physical damage or destruction and third-party tap. Some of you may be aware that recently in January 2022, Crypto.com found out that 483 of its users experienced unauthorized crypto withdrawals on their accounts where transactions were being approved without the 2FA authentication control being inputted by the user. And you may be wondering, what did Crypto.com do to correct this problem? Number 4, number 5 and number 6 are additional security measures on top of the first three that I've mentioned that Crypto.com has put in place to address the concerns of unauthorized access to its user's account and making withdrawal without the user's permission. Number four, the implementation of multi-factor authentication, in short, MFA, for transactions. Crypto.com revamped and migrated to a completely new 2FA infrastructure and made 2FA mandatory to be set up for redrawal. Number five, specifically for transactions of crypto to other wallets, Crypto.com has introduced an additional layer of security to add a mandatory 24-hour delay between the registration of a new withdrawal address and the first withdrawal. Basically, what it means is that a user who wants to make a withdrawal will need to wait for 24 hours before doing so. And this is crucial in case a hacker registers his or her wallet address and wants to make a withdrawal of your crypto into his or her wallet the user will receive notification that the withdrawal addresses has been added and this will give them adequate time to react and respond. Number six, Crypto.com has introduced the Worldwide Account Protection Program, in short APP, starting 1st February 2022 for selected markets. And this is designed to protect users' funds in case where a third party gains unauthorized access to their account and withdraw funds without users' permission. This program, offers reimbursement of funds up to $250,000 for qualified users for users' funds held in Crypto.com app and the Crypto.com exchange. So, after this incident, you may be wondering, would I still use Crypto.com then? Well, the answer is yes, and here is why. In 2021, there were more than 20 crypto exchange hacks according to an analysis by NBC News. This means that frankly speaking, in my opinion, there is no crypto exchange that is completely safe. Has hackers are always finding new ways to hack our cryptos. I am inevitable. Hence, it is not just a question of which crypto exchange I should use. Of course, I would choose an exchange with the most secure safety features. But it is also more of what I can do to reduce the risk of having my cryptos stolen and hacked. 
And here are some suggestions for you to reduce that risk. Number one is to enable multi-factor authentication, MFA. Number two, to diversify your cryptos across a few exchanges. Number three, if you are concerned, you can always transfer your cryptocurrencies out of the platform into your cold wallets for added security. To all of my Malaysian viewers, do take note that Crypto.com is not licensed and regulated by Securities Commissions Malaysia. Hence, do take note of this before you choose to use this exchange. Now that we have gotten the security part out of the way, the biggest question you are dying to know, what cryptos can you buy on Crypto.com? Well, on Crypto.com, you can buy and sell more than 250 cryptocurrencies using 20 plus fiat currencies. You can even buy the famous meme coins such as Shiba Inu, Dodge coins and more. Not financial advice. If you would like to see the full list of cryptos that you can buy on Crypto.com, you can check out the link in the description box down below. Now, Let's look at some of the interesting features in Crypto.com app. As you can see, the app is rather simple. On the bottom left, you will see accounts which shows you the overview of the cryptos that you own. Besides the normal feature of buying and selling cryptocurrency on the exchange, there are also a few unique features that I would like to touch on. Number one, the Crypto Earn program, otherwise known as staking. So what is staking? Staking is a way to earn extra interest on your crypto with the requirement of locking your crypto for a certain time period. And this will be suitable for people who buy to hold for the longer term. You can find the staking feature when you click on the center icon, which is the crypto.com logo. And here you can see a list of cryptos that you can stake and what returns that you will get for staking. I will be going into detail about staking in this video, Instead, I will be covering it in future video. Hence, if you would like to see that video, do consider subscribing so that you won't miss out that video when it is out. The next unique feature would be the Crypto.com debit card. This is actually a Crypto.com exclusive debit card where you can enjoy up to 8% back in Crowcoin, which is a Crypto.com owned crypto on your spending. There is no annual fee and you can top up with your fiat currency or crypto. On the bottom right of the app, you will see card. The amount of rewards depends on which tier you are on and what differentiates the tier is how much crow coin you stake. Obviously, the more you stake, the higher the tier you are entitled to, which means you will be entitled to more rewards. And the rewards includes Spotify, Netflix, Amazon reimbursement, which will credit into your crypto wallet, which you can then reinvest into cryptocurrency. If you use my referral link to sign up, register for a Ruby card and above, and stake at least 400 USD worth of crow coins, you will unlock 25 USD free crow coin, which will potentially be worth more in the future. The next feature is the tracking feature where you are able to obtain information on each crypto track or filter crypto based on their performance, market cap, volume for different time periods. And you can find this feature when you click on the track icon which is on the bottom right of the Crypto.com app. Additionally, when you click on any crypto on the top right, you can click on the bell button to create price alerts and star button to add it to your favorites list. Now, let's talk about the fees. The fees differs based on a few factors. First, whether you are a maker or a taker. Second, based on the amount that you transact. And lastly, how much crow coin you decide to stake. So, you may be wondering, what is a maker and a taker? A maker is someone who places an order to buy and sell not at market price, meaning the person places an order and is queuing for the order to be fulfilled. Because a market maker provides or makes liquidity to a market, hence they are rewarded with lower fees which ranges from 0.04% to 0.4%. A taker is someone who buys or sells at market price and they take liquidity. Hence, they will be charged a higher fees compared to maker which ranges between 0.1% to 0.4%. As I mentioned earlier, 
The fees also vary based on another two more factors which are the amount transacted and the amount of cruel coin stake. In terms of amount transacted, the more you transact in amount, the lower the fees. In terms of cruel coin stake, the more you stake, the lower the fees. I will explain the staking feature in detail in one of the upcoming videos. In conclusion, I like Crypto.com because of a few reasons. Number one, because of the variety of crypto coins that I can trade on this exchange. Number two, the staking feature which allows me to earn interest on coins that I plan to hold for long term. Number three, because of its simple user interface. However, there are a few concerns to take note of as well. First off, is the issues regarding withdrawal of users whose fiat currency are not from this list, which includes Malaysian Ringgit. For US, Australia, UK, Canada, Brazil users, this is an easy step where you are able to sell your crypto into fiat and select to withdraw your fiat currency into your local bank account. This is because Crypto.com only accepts several fiat currency. Hence, for users whose fiat currency are not from this list, you are unable to sell and withdraw your fiat currency directly on the app into your local bank account. But do not worry, there are other withdrawal alternatives by utilizing other crypto exchanges. And again, I'll be making a video on this, so do stay tuned. Number two, another concern for Malaysians like me is that Crypto.com is not regulated by Securities Commissions Malaysia. Number three, is the potential security breach due to unauthorized access. However, this is a common concern faced by users of all cryptocurrency exchanges. Personally, the pros outweighs the concern, hence I would still use Crypto.com. I hope this video gives you an overview of Crypto.com. Do stay tuned for more Crypto.com related videos in the future. If you would like to see more contents like this, be sure to give it a like. That's all for this video. Bye!